I knew it was going to be starting this summer, but I didn't know when. Not until you called me. It's been in the works for more than five years, but the first of two Danville dams is finally being removed. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The city voted to remove them in 2013, but a budget impasse put things on hold until now. Several aldermen we talked to say they had no idea it was already starting. WCI3's Caitlin Connolly is live in our newsroom. Caitlin, they, they did know it would be this summer, though. They did know it was happening soon, but they said they had no notice of it happening now, and people in the community have mixed feelings about it. Steve Foster has been a Danville alderman for years. He says he was an influential vote when the city decided to remove the dams. Well, we're about 50-50, the city was. At first, I wanted to keep the, the fishing thing, and then I realized we got some possible problems. He says he realized that if they didn't tear it down and turn down the money, then the city would be under liability if anyone died. During the last 35 years, seven people have been killed in the dams. So Foster says he ultimately chose to vote in favor of the removal. I think it's good that they tear it down because it is a safety factor. That vote was in 2013, and now they're finally starting to bring one down. Friedel Gersh says he eats his lunch by the Ellsworth Park Dam regularly. While he cares about people's safety, he says tearing it down will change everything. Relaxing and it's it's pretty and there's only a couple spots in Danville that have a feature like this, so yeah, I'm not in favor. He says he kayaks and fishes on the river and this removal will make a huge difference. Well, there are deeper holes, so when it gets cold, like when I'm kayaking in November, pretty much only places I catch fish are below, usually really the jail dam. Regardless, the sign is up and the dams are officially coming down. Now, from what I saw, only the one behind Public Works is being worked on now. I didn't see any construction at Ellsworth Park. Now, I tried to reach out to the Department of Natural Resources and Public Works, but they didn't get back to me on when that might be happening. Live in the newsroom, Caitlin Connolly, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Caitlin, thank you. Now,